Earth's north magnetic pole is shifting towards Siberia. The drift of the North Magnetic Pole accelerated significantly at the end of the last century, and it doesn't seem to be slowing down. Of course, the geographic North Pole is where it has always been, but its magnetic counterpart is heading towards Siberia. Every five years, scientists refresh the so-called The World Magnetic Model WMM. It is the basis for all navigation systems from ship control systems at sea to Google Maps on smartphones. Typically, WMM's margin of error was exceeded after five years, but lately it's been happening faster. Due to the rapid changes in the Earth's magnetic field, the five-year model update period stopped working. At the end of January this year, a patch for WMM was released, and now the entire model has been updated, a year ahead of schedule. The newly updated model shows the North Magnetic Pole rapidly moving away from Canada towards Russia, specifically Siberia. It is worth noting that while the pace is remarkable, the movement itself is not. The North Magnetic Pole is not really stationary. All because of changes in the movements of liquid iron currents in the core of our planet, which affect the behavior of the Earth's magnetic field. On the NOAA website, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, we can read that, since the first formal discovery in 1831, the North Magnetic Pole has traveled about 2,250 kilometers. This migration was generally quite slow, allowing scientists to track its position quite easily. But that has already changed. The wandering has accelerated and tracking the position of the North Magnetic Pole is no longer so easy. WMM is a model maintained jointly by the American NOAA and the British Geological Survey. It shows what the Earth's magnetic field looks like, in particular where the magnetic poles are. Data for the model comes from satellites and 160 land-based observatories. WMM is important because of the key role it plays in navigation. Scientists do not fully understand why the North Magnetic Pole is moving so fast and why this movement has accelerated in recent years. In 2000, the speed was estimated at about 10 km per year. The latest readings show that the magnetic pole is moving at a speed of 50 to 55 km per year. The movement of the pole has been much faster than ever since the 1990s, said Kieran Began of the British Geological Survey. We really don't know much about the processes in the Earth's core that drive this motion, he added. While scientists cannot fully explain the processes in our planet's core that affect North Pole wandering, they can map the Earth's magnetic field and calculate the rate of change over time, which helps them predict what pole wandering will look like in the future. Of course, WMM is very accurate on the day it is updated, but accuracy degrades over time. The North Magnetic Pole of the Earth was located in Canada at the beginning of the last century. It is currently located near the geographic North Pole and is heading towards Siberia. Scientists estimate that the magnetic pole's wandering rate should slow down somewhat to about 40 km per year. Human bodies can move up to a year after death. For more than a year after death, a corpse can move, and significantly. It has to do with the decomposition processes of the body. These findings could change the way forensic experts analyze and interpret crime scenes, especially when human remains are discovered after a long time. The findings were made by Alison Wilson, a graduate student in criminology, who used time-lapse cameras to capture the decomposition process of the body. She conducted research at the Australian Facility for Taphonomic Experimental Research, AFTER, near Sydney. 
For 17 months, the camera took pictures of the body every 30 minutes. After analyzing the photographs, it turned out that the corpse was moving all the time. Places like after are so-called body farms or body farms. The processes of corpse decomposition are studied there, and forensic anthropologists are primarily interested in this research. The bodies are left in different areas and undergo different treatments. All this is to check and evaluate the characteristics of the decomposition of human corpses that are subjected to various external factors. On such farms we will find bodies buried in the ground, wrapped in foil, in car wrecks or submerged in water. This is to simulate the conditions in which victims of crime are found. Thanks to this research, Forensic experts provide invaluable assistance to law enforcement authorities in apprehending the perpetrators of murders. The object of interest to Wilson and her colleagues was one of the 70 bodies at the after-body farm. The corpses were buried with the arms placed along the body. During the experiment, the arms gradually moved away from the body and eventually found themselves a considerable distance from it. The new findings have not yet been published, but they follow on from previous work published in the journal Forensic Science International, Synergy. Wilson explained that some posthumous movements were expected in the very early stages of decomposition, but the fact that they continued throughout the shooting was a complete surprise. We believe these movements relate to the decomposition process as the body mummifies and the ligaments dry out, Wilson said. This knowledge could be important in unsolved death investigations, she added. Wilson's research is the first of its kind conducted using a time-lapse camera. They also provide evidence that the assumption about the position of the body at the time of death even in the absence of other evidence that the body was moved, may not be true. This, in turn, could change the way scientists analyze and interpret crime scenes. Researchers also wanted to improve a widely used system for estimating the time of death. This system is based on assigning points that correspond to the decomposition state of the body. In addition to discovering that bodies can move for more than a year. The research also proved the effectiveness of the system, confirming its usefulness as a forensic tool. The results also confirmed the usefulness of time-lapse cameras in forensic research. This research will help investigators better understand the post-mortem movements of corpses, and the rate of decomposition, which may help in estimating the time of death more accurately. Based on similar research, it may be possible to generate statistical data on the movement of corpses. This knowledge could be used to analyze crime scenes with greater accuracy. Such a database would provide information on how the corpse moved, which in turn could enable investigators to reconstruct the position of the body at the time of death.